Here are some of the latest headlines about COVID-19. Some early learning centers are struggling to find child care professionals who will work during the pandemic. The Meadows Early Learning Center owner Katie McDonald says it could put her out of business. She lost a third of her employees due to the pandemic and of the 57 applications she's received to replace them in the last month, two were qualified. She wants the state to ease regulation, regulations so she can hire more staff and keep her doors open. Colorado College is moving all classes online for a few weeks after 11 students and one staff member tested positive for COVID-19. Classes will be held remotely for the rest of the block, which ends on September 16th. It could stay that way for the rest of the semester. The people charged with running short-term Airbnb rental schemes uh, in Denver are getting a break thanks to COVID-19. The Denver District Attorney's Office says it dismissed felonies against two real estate agents, a lawyer and a developer. The DA says it's because the courts want fewer jury trials during the pandemic and it has to give violent cases priority. A vacant plot of land in Denver that used to be a Kmart is now a COVID-19 testing site. Colorado COVID-19 drive up is running the new site off of Monaco and Evans. The testing firm has approval to use the 13 acres through the winter. The land has sat vacant for years as the owner and possible buyers wrangled over its value and plans for its future. People are getting out on the trails more during the pandemic. The Summit County Rescue Group believes it's contributing to the uptick in calls for help. That rescue team was called out nearly 130 times by the end of August. They're on pace to break last year's record. Becky